Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Michael Kennedy for Beer City Television. Today, we're visiting Funkworks Brewery in Fort Collins, Colorado. They make a specialized type of beer called a Saison. We're going to go in, take a tour, meet the people behind the beer, and at the end, my favorite part, I'm going to taste a couple of them. Let's go. We're here with Brad Lincoln. He's one of the masterminds uh, behind Funkworks. And answer this question for me first. What exactly is a Saison beer? That's your specialty. Yeah, it is our specialty. Um, well, I think there's probably many different interpretations of what a Saison is, but it came as a historical uh, Belgian style beer uh, from the French speaking part of Belgium, and it was a farmhouse ale. So initial incarnations were probably around three to four percent alcohol, and it was kind of done by each individual farm. Some of these kind of survived, and the one that stands out in my mind is Saison DuPont. Uh, very, very tasty beer, and that's actually kind of what we use as the model for our uh, Funkwork Saison. We're a little bit different. They're more on the fruity side, we're more on the spicy side. Uh, but that's kind of what a Saison is, is really determined by the yeast in the beer. So not only is the beer that Funkworks brew is unique, but you'd have to say the name Funkworks is pretty unique too. Where does it come from? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about where we got started. Um, Gordon and I met at the Siebel Institute uh, in Chicago, uh, brewing school. And uh, I went down to Florida after school to uh, start up a brewery down there, you know, giving it a shot. And then I uh, got a call from Gordon. He was up in Steamboat Springs at that point in time. And uh, he said he wanted to do a Saison brewery on the front range. And I said, oh, I think I'd get on board with that. Uh, so I flew out to Steamboat and uh, I was there for about three days. And uh, we spent about a half day working on a business plan. And then the other two and a half days were coming up with the name. I really kind of like the way that the Japanese companies have like Fuji Heavy Industries and those types of things. So I was like, what about something industries? Uh, but Works was one of the things that kind of came out of that. So we had the Works part done. We were like, well, what do we put in front of Works? Like, Beer Works is already taken, Mash Works, none of this kind of really fit us. So Gordon's like, how about Funk Works? Okay, we'll just work with it uh, as our working title. And maybe about a week later, I called Gordon and was like, I don't really like this name. I'm, I'm coming around on this. So we're here with Gordon Chuck. You are the other half of the brains behind Funkworks. The better half. Okay, the better <laughs> half. Uh, we're standing in front of barrels here. Uh, we're in a brewery. <laughs> Explain these barrels to me. So this is kind of the barrel aging area. Uh, this is also our sister brewery, Crooked Stave. Um, he's doing uh, sour beers and that kind of stuff in the barrels. Um, barrel aging is one of those hot new things that it, uh, a lot of breweries are, are getting into. Have you done any barrel aging yourself? Yeah, we have uh, a few bourbon barrels. We have some red wine barrels, some white wine barrels. We also have one cognac barrel that I'm really excited about. We have a, a golden ale in there right now, aging. So where are we headed now in the brewery? So here's the fermentation area. This is basically where the yeast makes our Saison. Um, you can see the, the cylindroconical fermenter. Um, we do 15 barrel batches, so right now we have a beer uh, fermenting right now. Uh, the bottom is actually designed so that the yeast falls out solution, you can harvest at the bottom. Um, and what is the beer you're making in there right now? That is actually, uh, that's a, uh, a beer that's going into red wine barrels. So it's a stronger dark saison, um, a little bit of candy sugar in that one. Um, once it's done fermenting, we're gonna transfer that to barrels for probably aging about two to three months. Okay. Uh, in a saison, is fermentation normally longer than with other beers? Yeah, our yeast is, is really a powerhouse yeast. It starts slow. Um, but then it gets high attenuation. We usually get about 90% attenuation, which is extremely high for most beers. Um, we do a two week primary fermentation. Mm -hmm. At that point, we'll dry hop and give it another week in the fermenter. And at that point, we can go to packaging with it. So it's at least a three or four week um, turnaround on beer. Mm -hmm. So how do you think the flavors are gonna blend in the, the Red Blonde Saison? Hopefully it'll blend well. <laughs> you never know with wine barrels. It, there could be some Britannomyces in the wood. There, there, you, know, you don't know how much wine character it's gonna give off. So 
So you kind of play by ear, you taste, and then you kind of push the beer in a direction you want by blending or, or whatever you need to. So, okay. Um, now, Bertanomyces, I'm not going to pretend that I know what that means. I'm going to let the experts tell me that. Beer yeast is uh, Saccharomyces. Um, Bertanomyces is considered a wild yeast strain. Um, in the wine industry, it's considered a scourge and a flaw. Uh, but in beer, people have been kind of running with that and um, doing Bertanomyces beers, that, and they have an interest in character. Well, we've been talking a lot about tradition um, here at Funkworks, and part of the tradition with Saisons are the bottles. Well, the Belgians uh, seem to love champagne bottles, or, or specifically the Burgundy side bottles, too. Um, so we kind of use a, a special bottle for our beers. It comes from Germany. Um, they have a larger cap, makes it easier to pour. They have a punt. Um, they're designed to handle high pressures. Um, we can do high carbonation in these um, and that sort of thing. So. Where else can viewers out there find your beer? Uh, pretty much Colorado right now. Um, Colorado is one of those states where you can self-distribute. So we're delivering our beer as far south as Colorado Springs right now. We're looking to get onto the western slope of Colorado and maybe take on a state or two in the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, we're here in the tap room at Funk Works, and this happens to be my favorite part of the show because I get to taste the beers. Tell me what we're going to be drinking here today. Well, the first one we'll try is our Saison. Uh, it's kind of what we call our flagship and it's the one that Gordon and I spent about 10 recipes uh, getting to be what we wanted it to be. And uh, for me, I think it's my favorite, although Gordon, I think uh, King is his favorite. Now, I can smell the spice in it. I don't taste it quite as strongly as I might expect. Is that the kind of balance that you're talking about? Exactly. Um, the yeast kind of has a little fruitiness, kind of a peppery spiciness. Also the hops we use kind of have a little spiciness of their own. And kind of the balance is those flavors blending together so you don't know where it's coming from. And, um, I find that intriguing. That's, that's my favorite part of this beer. You know, whenever we do something uh, new, I always really kind of compare it to the Saison and say, well, is this as good a beer as you know the Saison was when we, when we first were kind of coming out with it? Um, and sometimes we get there, sometimes we don't. Uh, but it's still, still definitely my favorite of all the ones we've done. Where, where does the Saison rank for you? Uh, you know, this is one of the first beers we, we prototyped. Uh, we went through nine different recipes trying to perfect it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's got a special place in my heart. I get almost like a tangerine mango off of it. Um, and people always ask me, you know, what spices or fruits we added to it. And, Really nothing. It's, it's the hop itself. Now before I take a drink of this, uh, I've got to get a beer here to my <laughs> cameraman, Eric. Uh, I missed him last time, but I know he's dying over there. So this is the Tropic King. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. The Saison, you said, had fewer ingredients mm -hmm. than someone might expect. Is that the same with the Tropic King? Yeah, pretty much. We have two hops in this one instead of one. <laughs> um, and I think we have three different malts. So. What are you doing to introduce yourselves to more beer drinkers out there? Uh, we always do a lot of festivals in the summertime. Um, you know, the couple that are kind of coming to mind now are Gnarly Barley, which will be around here, the Fort, Fort Collins Brewery Fest. I don't know, I think it has a different name, but and we're going out to Grand Junction for the Arbor Fest that's coming up uh, at the end of this month. And then the Great American Beer Festival is kind of the, uh, the, uh, the last festival we do every year. How, uh, how have you been received at the uh, Great American Beer Festival in the past? Pretty well. We got a silver medal uh, this past year for our Saison, so that was very exciting for us. So I'm sorry to say that uh, my tour of Funkworks has ended. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. I've enjoyed every minute of it. And to all of you, thank you for tuning in. Remember, the, every time you tune into Beer City Television, the next round's on me. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.